Kronker's default settings are awful. That's why you need to edit them a little bit. In this video, I'm gonna show you the most important ones. Obviously, there are personal preferences, but generally, those things are quite good. Of course, alongside good settings, you also want good sounds, which you need to go to mods and just search for some mods you like. The mods I made, or like the ones I use, is People Peppa right here, but you can just choose any of them. There are so many mods. Starting off, first off, you don't want default, you don't want pro, you don't want performance, you want custom. You wanna click on advanced on top here. If you need to search anything, go here to search. If you wanna import something, here or export. All right, if you've got high ping, change maybe your region to the closest city to yours. Same with the language. If you wanna go Chinese, then do it. The server browser is the best if you have the current browser, because the legacy browser, it's like the server finder here. The legacy one, like the old one, was quite bad. New one is better. For those, I don't know, if you've got any issues with like mouse flicking or something, turn them on, like the mouse flick fix. For keybinds, you can just do everything you want, except uh, I would recommend going for spray M1 and space. So every time you press left click, for example, or if you jump, then you spray. This is very useful for getting this spray can here. Because you need 50,000 sprays for that. For a sense, it doesn't matter. Just don't have a too low sense or too high a sensitivity, because you know how gaming works. I would recommend using old scoreboard, because you see that on the top right, you can see like who's first place and whatever, how many points they've got. Otherwise, you would always have to press tab for it to be able to see, be seen. So it's just really useful. I recommend turning that on. Dynamic HP bars are just indicating when a, a player got damaged like recently and when he's gonna um, regenerate again. As you can see, dynamic HP bars have this little white thing here. Hit indicators, uh, you might want them. As you can see, it's in the middle of the screen, those red things. Could you please shoot me again, guy? Hello. Yep, you can see where you get shot from. It is... I, I don't like it. I like to ha have it off, but you can turn it off and on if you have no idea where the enemies are. Also, don't show damage, it just distracts. I'd recommend uh, turning on all the kill feed, kill counter, death counter, KD. It's all like the stuff on top here. Whoa, what are these guests doing? Yeah, anyways. Also, ping and FPS, everything really useful. Uh, movement speed, I recommend turning that on. Usually, as you can see, I have it in my bottom left. Um, the default is just in the middle of the screen. Get it away from there. You don't want anything in the middle of your screen except your crosshair. Name tag display. So you want to see everyone's name tag, but you just usually want to see their health. You can turn on everything uh, because then you will, you know, see who they are and what level they are. But I usually just keep that off because, yeah, it's distracting. You're just reading instead of aiming. The health number uh, thing adds a little number next to the health. It's, it, uh, you can turn it on. It's not bad. I would recommend showing medals. Uh, they're usually in the middle of your screen again, which is not really useful. So I put them at the bottom right of my screen. Don't You can use classic medals, but the new ones are way better. Don't play the sounds, by the way. Chat, do it as you want. Crosshair, do it as you want. Crosshair throwing, do um, make it kind of like your normal crosshair. Uh, trust, it's gonna be way better just than just having this huge, weird crosshair. You, all, you always want hit markers, because then, then you can see if you hit something. Your resolution shouldn't be above 1.5, there's just not much difference. Don't turn on low spec, it's like uh, that you can't see feet. I mean, yeah, if you can, you w if you want to get like aiming training done, but generally it's better to see the whole enemy. Also turn on map details if your PC handles it, because uh, without it, like, things like grass just disappear. You don't have to do have all those shadows, normal shadows are sufficient, just, yeah. Okay, coming over here, bullet trails, yes, have them on, your trails, turn them off, you don't want to see the, your trails, it's, no, don't, neither muzzle flash, bullet casing, and impact holes, nope, you don't need those, you always want animations, you don't want screen shake, every time a rocket launcher shoots at you, your screen is gonna shake like an elephant is in your room, turn it off. If you want your weapon to look good, then turn on weapon shine, because sometimes, okay, in this map there's not really light, but 
you know, there's some light and the weapon is shining sometimes. Uh, you also don't want to show explosions, it's like from a rocket launcher, your screen is just gonna be white. Turn off speed lines, get them to zero, they are, I'm gonna show you, they're awful. Look at this, look look on the side of my screen, bro, this is awful, turn it off, it's super duper distracting. Don't, turn it off, please. Pop-up score, yes, you wanna know how much score you got, um, uh, I put it to the bottom of my screen. Charge bar, look at over here, uh, the charge bar is really, it's, it's, it's that thing. Um, so I recommend making it small. I, ma I made it just right under my crosshair. Usually it's huge. Just make it small somewhere. Turn on bullet tracers that will show like sniper shots. Uh, like where they came from. It's really, really useful. Coming over here to view model. I recommend uh, going per weapon and changing every single weapon. Like uh, individually I have for all my weapons different things. That they look better or worse. Uh, field of view should be like 80 or 90. Don't go above that. It's bad. Trust me. Don't place stretched either. The rest here you can just do whatever you want here. Except for here. What made the SFOV power there was a time where it was zero. Now you can only set it to 0 0.3. Put it at 0 0.3. You don't want to be scoping in like crazy. You also don't want a weapon aim animation or toggle the weapon ADS. You just wanna, yeah, you know, do it when you press. Hide weapon on ADS. Um, it's really useful. Like right now I'm ADSing, you shotgun. Generally, you always want to be hiding your primary weapon and showing your secondary and knife. You wanna show your secondary and knife because you wanna know to which slot you switch to. For example, if I hide all of them now, I hit all of them. I have no idea what I'm holding in my hand right now. For example, now I've got my sword off. But yeah, you know, you just want to turn those two on. You want to show your hands, otherwise if you throw away your knife, you can't see, uh, differentiate between primary and knife. Again, left-handed, you don't, don't turn this on, it's weird. I just turned it on because I thought it's funny. You just hold your things on the left side. And for Uzi, it's like real funny. You hold like one Uzi and the other hand is free and it's floating. Thanks for killing me. Here, this is it. This is how it looks, uh, how Uzi looks left-handed. I have my settings turned in a way that, yeah, you basically shoot out of your hand, which is actually really funny. Don't turn on wall slide jump lean. Again, I just have it because it's funny. Don't turn on round arms either. It's really ugly. You always wanna load mods or Auto load mods. You don't have to uh, do the logo changes. Um, very important. Don't turn on scope borders. It is super duper ugly. Okay, now I have turned it off in uh, the different settings. You have to like change a few settings, but generally turn off your scope borders. You want to have a clear vision when you're sniping. You can add a like small custom scope, but you don't want your half of your 90% of your screen to be black. Yeah, you can add some custom icons like I did. I might change mine because they're kind of ugly. Sound, do whatever you want. Put the weapon volume down a little bit because they're usually quite loud. And for the rest here, that doesn't really matter here. I hope this was useful and you've taken some things with you and maybe changed some settings and now don't have the default settings. Or maybe you didn't know something existed and now, yeah, you've got a better, better one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.